right on the main heading, semiconductors. Okay. So we'll do two topics, very small topics, and we'll stop. Okay. So the first topic that we do is types oh, of resistance. Excuse me, Nayan. Okay. Hmm, tell me. Man, man. Uh, semiconductor uh, and the morning batch me ho chuka hai. Yeah, exactly. I told morning batch not to join only. What are you? Who is this, Krishnan? Hello. Krishnan, yes, tell me. And the morning batch me semiconductor ho gaya. You're a student or you're admin? I am a student, I admin, admin. Ah, that's what I said. Evening batch and Thakur is not over. Morning batch portion is over from my side. Okay, okay. So this is only for evening batch and Thakur. Okay, for Andheri morning batch portion is over. Okay, sir. Hmm. And I have told them also not to join the second session because they have finished it. Okay, okay. Okay, for others, uh, two topics, write down types of resistance. Write down side heading, types of resistance. <laughs> types of resistance. So look at the screen, everyone. See this. There are two types of resistance in normal electronics. One is static resistance and one is dynamic resistance. Now, what is the meaning of static? Static is something which is stationary, which does not change. That is called as static. And what is dynamic? Dynamic is something that keeps changing. So tell me which are the two types of current? Can I say one current is direct current and other current is alternating current, correct? One current is direct current and other current is alternating current. Can I say direct current does not change? It is a constant like this. But can I say alternating current keeps changing? Therefore, the other name for direct current is actually called dynamic current, sorry, static current. Another name for alternating current is dynamic current, okay? You should know one thing first, okay? So, what are the types of resistance in semiconductors? The first type of resistance is called static resistance. The other type of resistance is called dynamic resistance. Therefore, static resistance and dynamic resistance, if I make two columns, static resistance is also called DC resistance because it is applicable for direct current only. And dynamic resistance is also called AC resistance because that resistance comes in AC circuit. So static current comes in DC circuit, dynamic resistance comes in AC circuit. This is the first point. Second point is, what is the general formula for resistance? V by I, correct? The general formula for resistance is V by I. Therefore, for direct current, since voltage and current does not change, can I say the formula for resistance is directly V by I? But for alternating, for dynamic, can I say the formula will be delta V by delta I because voltage also changes and current also changes. Therefore, the formula for dynamic resistance is delta V by delta I. What is the meaning of delta? Delta means change. In. So change in voltage upon change in current. When can the voltage and current change? In alternating current itself. Therefore, it is AC. Don't look at the notation right now. It is galvanometer resistance. So don't look at the Notation, just write R equal to and R equal to. So let me repeat the topics. Static resistance is also called as DC resistance and dynamic resistance is also called as AC. Static direct current, dynamic alternating current. Since alternating current changes, the resistance value is delta V by delta I. Static is only V by I. Did you understand this much? Therefore, you have written the side heading types of resistance. Write down static and dynamic. Make two columns and write down. Start.
finished unit will be ohm i wish unit for dynamic resistance as well as dynamic static and dynamic unit for both will be ohm itself do you understand why static resistance is also ohm dynamic resistance is also ohm ultimately the unit of resistance will be ohm correct okay now last topic is what are the applications of semiconductors remember we have not done what is semiconductor nothing i'm just doing small topics so that in the next class we can start with semiconductors today i'm doing small small topics around and everyone has heard of semiconductors okay now what are the uses or what are the applications of semiconductors this is the next question so right now next side heading applications of semiconductors right now side heading applications of semiconductors applications of semiconductors okay written the side heading applications of semiconductors now see here this question will come for two marks and you have to write four applications but anyway there are five on the screen actually there are six but actually there are only five because point number 3 is not there okay because point number 3 is not there okay see here the first application of semiconductor is solar cell listen to this second application is photoresistor third one is a photodiode fourth one is led and fifth one is laser okay now if you notice all five have something to do with light solar cell sunlight photoresistor resistor which works on light photo means light in physics what does photo mean in physics photo means light photodiode we will do it in some time led you might have heard it is light emitting diode i think everyone has heard of leds that is light emitting diodes and everyone has heard of laser also okay therefore all the applications that we have written on the screen are all based on light are all based on light that is solar cell photoresistor photodiode led and laser is it clear now what does solar cell do i think everyone knows this what does a solar cell do solar <coughs> cell converts light energy into electrical energy is this first application clear therefore the first application of semiconductor is solar cell and what does solar cell do it converts light energy into electrical energy therefore if i have a solar cell it will convert light into electricity okay therefore you have written the side heading applications of semiconductors write down first one solar cell and just write down the first statement it converts light energy into electrical energy write down only the first statement solar cell converts light energy into electrical energy फोटोरेजिस्टर what is the meaning what is the meaning of the word photo in physics light and what is resistor resistor so for can i say photo resistor is a resistor which will change its resistance depending on light therefore if you look at the statement it changes its resistance when light is incident on it that means in other words a resistor which works on light 
means depending on the intensity of light, its resistance will increase or decrease. This is the meaning of the word photoresistor. A resistor which operates on photo means light is called as photoresistor. Therefore, write down the second application photoresistor and write down changes its resistance when light is incident on it. Make a note. Finished? Now, third application, third application is photodiode. We have not done what is a diode in this chapter. So just write this statement. I'll explain what does it mean in the next class. Just write this statement. What is photodiode? It conducts when illuminated with light. What does it mean? I'll tell you in the next class. But for now, just write down the statement. Photodiode conducts when illuminated with light. Okay. Photodiode conducts when illuminated with light. Now, next one is LED. I think everyone knows what is LED. The full form of LED is light emitting diode. Now, what does it do? It will emit light when current passes through it. Means your LED light, what does it do? When you pass current through it, it will emit light, like a normal light, correct? So write down, next application, LED. Write the full form, light emitting diode. And what does it do? It will emit light when current passes through it, okay? We use LEDs in mobiles, TVs, normal lights also. So when you pass current through an LED, it will emit light. Okay, so LED, that is light emitting diode, it will emit light when current passes through it. Okay, now. People think LED and laser are different, but actually listen to me. LED and laser are almost the same. What is the difference is, LED has many frequencies or many wavelengths or many colors. But if I have LED of a single frequency, means of a single color, then it is called a laser. Do you understand? That means laser is a special type of LED itself. What is the speciality of laser? It has a single frequency. Single frequency means single wavelength. Single wavelength means it emits a single color, correct? Therefore, if you look at the statement, solid state laser, it is a special type of LED, means it's a type of LED itself. It emits light of a specific frequency. Specific frequency means it emits lights of a single color. Single frequency means single wavelength. Single wavelength means single color. Therefore, write down, Solid state laser, it is a special type of LED. It emits light of specific frequency. So do this much, write down this much. So laser is a subset of LED itself. So if they ask you what is the difference between LED and laser, you should tell that laser is a type of LED itself, a special type of LED, which is having a single frequency. Is it clear?
finished so if they ask you two topics one is what are the types of resistances you should be able to answer this question will come for one mark where you have to give two points where the two types of resistance are static resistance and dynamic resistance and you should give two points and if they ask you what are the applications of semiconductors this question will again come for two marks you have to write four applications i have given you five uh, in that photodiode we will do it in the class where i do the topic but otherwise you should be able to answer any four points and remember all four points are related to light itself solar cell photoresistor photodiode led and laser and you should also remember that led and laser are similar laser is a led of a specific frequency is it clear now the last topic for today and the topic is called thermistor right on the side heading thermistor this is the last topic for today right on thermistor See, thermistor is a combination of two names. Thermo plus resistor is called as thermistor. Okay, what is thermistor? Thermo plus resistor is called as thermistor. And what does thermo mean? Temperature. Correct. Thermo. Therefore, what is the meaning of thermistor? Thermistor is a temperature sensitive resistor. That means, with change in temperature, its resistance will change. Okay. What is thermistor? Thermo resistor means temperature sensitive resistor. What does it mean? With change in temperature, its resistance will change. That is called thermistor. Therefore, if you look at the screen, okay, what is the definition of a thermistor? Thermistor is a temperature sensitive resistor. That means its resistance changes with the change in temperature. Write down this definition. Start. Write down side heading thermistor and write down the definition. Thermistor is a temperature sensitive resistor. Its resistance changes with change in temperature. written the definition of thermistor. Now listen. There are two types of thermistors. One is called PTC, one is called NTC. Okay. There are two types of thermistors. First one is called NTC. NTC means negative temperature coefficient. And one more is called PTC, which is positive temperature coefficient. So you all have written what is the definition of thermistor. Temperature sensitive resistor, that means its resistance will change with respect to temperature. Now, how many types of thermistors are there? There are two types of thermistors. One is NTC. NTC means negative temperature coefficient. And one is PTC. That is positive temperature coefficient. What is NTC and what is PTC? I will explain. Now, what you do is write down below the definition this much. There are two types of thermistors. Write down below the definition. Write down this much. There are two types of thermistors. First one is negative temperature coefficient and the second one is positive temperature coefficient, NTC and PTC. Write down this much. There are two types of thermistors, negative temperature coefficient, NTC, and positive temperature coefficient, which is 
PTC. Okay, written. Now, what is NTC and what is PTC is very simple. See here. Look at the table, what I have drawn. Okay, see this last topic. Okay. In negative temperature coefficient thermistor, look at the screen, everyone. As temperature increases, the resistance will decrease. That kind of thermistor is called NTC. And in PTC, as temperature increases, the resistance also increases. You know that thermistor resistance will change with temperature. Now, resistance can change two ways. Either it can increase or it can decrease. Now, if resistance decreases with increase in temperature, that kind of thermistor is called NTC. And if the resistance increases with increase in temperature, that is called as PTC. I hope you understood. Now, in words, see what they have given in the module. They have said that the resistance of an NTC thermistor decreases with increase in temperature. You have to write only this much. And resistance of a PTC thermistor increases with increase in temperature. Can I say these two sentences, if I make a table, I will get this table itself. Therefore, the table will give you a good idea. Therefore, I want you to, you have written there are two types of thermistors, PTC and NTC. Now, write down what is the statement of NTC, that is this one, and write down what is the statement of PTC, and below that, draw this table. This table will be very important because when you're writing this answer in the exam, if the table is correct, they'll not read anything else. They'll read the table and give you full marks. Okay, therefore write down what is the statement for NTC and what is the statement for PTC, start. Finished? So, the question is what is thermistor? First, you should know the definition. Thermistor is a temperature sensitive resistor. Its resistance changes with temperature. Second, how many types of thermistors are there? Two types. One is PTC and one is NTC. Now, what does PTC do? It goes along with temperature, same direction. And what does NTC do? It goes against the direction. Therefore, it is negative. And if it goes along the direction, it is positive. Did you understand this topic? So we have done three topics today. 
the first topic is what are the types of resistance that is static resistance dynamic resistance second topic is what are the five applications of semiconductors five applications of semiconductors you should know all are related to light third one what is thermistor in thermistor you should know the definition of thermistor you should know the two types of thermistor and also you should know what are the types means what happens in ptc what happens in ntc is this much clear all of you okay good so with that we will stop for today we will continue in the next class in the next class i will actually start with what is a semiconductor and what is a conductor insulator and the actual topic today's class what i did was peripheral topics means they are independent so that when you do the actual chapter you don't need to do this again okay so keep revising these three topics okay so i'll see you in the next class that is next week thank you and bye bye Thank you. Bye-bye.